Hello, Sagittarius. I got a couple messages for you guys. Okay, here's your messages. Um, time for a change in cycle. Okay, cycle's ending because it's time for a change. For some Sagittarius is out there. Um, they're feeling like it's time for a change, okay? It's time to um, move away from the conflict. You just want to be happy. It's time to hold yourself as well as others accountable, okay? You're looking back. You're taking, um, uh, you're assessing life and being discontent with the assessment. So it's time to make a change. And that's how a lot of you or some of you Sagittarius are looking at it. First within yourself. Then you can find a person that is um, equally yoked or kind of like you. Okay? You're putting the things that are into things that don't align with, your, align with your higher self. But basically, like I said, you're going to be holding yourself accountable this week and holding others accountable as well. Um, you first because um, you allow things to happen like that in your life. You make decisions. Okay? It's your life. You got the power. You got the control. Secondly, others who don't take their place that you give them in your life serious enough. It might be getting revoked. Okay? So, that's for you, Sagittarius. You're going to... Now, let me put these cards back. I had these cards from Libra. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle them up. Let's see what messages we got for you. God, universe, angels, spirit, gods. Please give me a message for my Sagittarius from the 22nd to the 28th of June. The messages would you need to, need to see? What messages would you have them to see? Amen. Dream the world into being. Okay. That's 11. That's a 2. Let it shine. And that's your light. Your light and also your inner knowing is going to be shining this week. While you believe in yourself, okay? You're going to be letting your light shine this week, okay? Some of you um, could be opening up your third eye chakra as well this week, Sagittarius. Okay. You got Al. Look at that Al. Look at that Al. Don't she look so... Girl, she better go on her badass. Look at that. She got lashes on and everything. Girl, I see you. Uh-huh. My third eye is open. Okay. Okay, now, then Koala got his little third eye open, too. He's knowing and aware. Both of these people are knowing and aware. Okay, believing in yourself, letting your light shine because you are knowing and aware. And you just can't hold it in no more. It's just glaring through you, okay? Your light is shining bright. You won't be dimming it no more for people. You're going to be believing in you and not worry about them. You're going to be dreaming. You're going to be dreaming big, turning the world into what you want it to be for you. Not what other people want it to be. Okay? Doing what you want to do this week. Okay? Being all about you and yourself. Okay? And possibly the people you love. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> 
messages for Sagittarius from June the 22nd to the 28th. And put that out. I hate for it to go to waste. Messages for Sagittarius from the 22nd to the 28th of June. Messages in there for Sagittarius from the 22nd to the 28th of June. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. We got suffering and silence coming out here. Messages for Sagittarius. 22nd to the 28th of June. Messages for Sagittarius. From the 22nd to the 28th of June. Messages for Sagittarius. From the 22nd to the 28th of June. Throat chakra. That's funny because these cards just came out in Libra. And I told them they could be dealing with a Sagittarius. And you can be dealing with a Libra. Okay. Ah, same card. There we go. Heartache and loss. Same card. You could be dealing with a Libra for real. That's just a Sagittarius. They're just flying out. Okay. First we got Crown Chakra. You're definitely aware. You definitely know with this crown chakra here. Okay, that's your knowing. Okay, passion ignited here. We got movements, choices, and decisions. Choose wisely. Okay, basically that's what I feel. We got to choose wisely card too. But when it says movement, choices, and decisions, you need to be careful. And the movements you make, the decisions you make, and the choices. Okay, which we need one more out here for so Sagittarius from the 22nd to the 28th. One more card for Sagittarius from the transformation coming out. Let me say, yeah, transformation. I told you, I ain't telling you that it was a transformation, but I did tell you that you're going to be moving on, putting it into something. Time for a change. Moving on at the bottom. So let's get some clarifications. We got somebody suffering in silence out here. It could be you or somebody around you. Um, suffering in silence possibly because some stuff they want to say but they haven't said. Um, feeling a heartache and loss. This could be you or somebody around you. Possibly a Libra. <laughs> Sorry. Crown chakra here. Something is known here. Something is known. Some passion ignited here. And that's possibly what's going on around this throat chakra that somebody ain't speaking up about Libra. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I think Libra. I think y'all dealing with Libra. So I think you should be careful of your movements, your choices, and your decisions here. Um, and you could be going through a transformation here. A transformation. Why is suffering in silence here for Sagittarius? Why you give suffering in silence to Sagittarius here? I think y'all dealing with Libra, y'all. Why is suffering in silence here for Sagittarius? Suffering in silence. Why is that here for Sagittarius? Oh, well, we got suffering in silence. Uh, it's the ending taking place. Okay? And somebody has got anxiety around it. And they ain't saying nothing. They ain't saying nothing at all. They just sitting here going crazy. There's Sagittarius car right there. They're sitting there going crazy. This could be you. I think this is somebody around you, though. But this could be you. And they just won't speak up. They're suffering in silence around the ending that they possibly... That's two nines right here. Suffering in silence and a nine of nine of swords. That's two nine of swords. That's double suffering. So both of you could be suffering here around this ending that's happening. Because you don't want it to happen here. But it's happening. And Or this person could be suffering. Whoever's suffering is not saying anything. They need to speak up. They're not speaking up. Why ain't they speaking up? They want to, you know, they holding on to this or something. They want to bring in the balance. Holding on to want to bring in the balance. Okay? Wanting this, a new way of going about this two of cups here. With the higher refined, a higher level of commitment. Why ain't nobody saying anything? Why is throat chakra here for Sagittarius? Closed mouths don't get fed. Say something. Speak up. Can't go on here. Somebody ain't saying nothing. That they want to take action here. 
They want to take action. It's funny because it, um, in Libra Spirit, they also just got the king and the queen of wands. <laughs> okay, so what's heartache and loss here? Why is heartache and loss here for Sagittarius? Heartache and loss here. Why is it here for Sagittarius? I, I really strongly believe that some of y'all are dealing with Libras. Why is heartache and loss here for Sagittarius? Heartache and loss. Why is it here for Sagittarius? Oh, uh, the lovers. Your twin flame soulmate, a.k.a. Libra. Somebody dealing with a Libra out here. This is somebody who is dealing with Libra. Please comment and let me know if you're dealing with a Libra. Crown Chakra. Why is Crown Chakra here for Sagittarius? Crown Chakra. Is that why I say here for Sagittarius? You could also be dealing with a Gemini, but I'm saying somebody is out there dealing with a Libra. Their story was so similar to this here. Okay. We got the Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. That nine of pentacles popped out. We're going to keep that one. And it's in reverse because somebody either don't want you to be single or don't, they don't want to be single and they know it. Here, what's one? Well, we're going to get passion ignited. They don't want to be single because passion has been ignited here. Yep, and they feel left out in the cold. They don't want you single and y'all want to be single. Moves and choices and decisions. Why is movement, choices, and decisions here for Sagittarius? We got the ten of pentacles. Yes, the Ten of Pentacles is an option out there, and you got to make a wise move here. Transformation. Why is that here for Sagittarius? Okay, we got the tower coming out. Yep, transformation taking place around you. And we got the hanging man here. A new perspective. Oh, we're feeling stagnant here. But we definitely got that new beginnings. That new passionate beginning here. Instant emotion. And moving forward here, so let's see what we're gonna get. Let's let's clarify this a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, okay? Sagittarius, suffering in silence is clarified by okay. Hold on, y'all. So, for some reason, my music started to play. Um, so I'm gonna tell y'all the song we started to play because I like the song, it's called Try Me, and I'm gonna tell you who it's by. This is by Tim's or Tim's T E M S. She be like, uh, "Why you wanna try me? Yeah, try me. You're about to destroy me or distract me. Distract me. Try to try with me. Try with me. I don't really know that song, but I like that song. I know I know some of the words. It's like somebody trying to. If she said, if if um, if I was the ganja, the ganja, then you bring the lighter, the lighter. I just like that song. I don't know if y'all needed to hear it or not because it just started playing and I didn't push play. It just started playing here in my headset. But I do like that song. And I do be feeling like somebody needs to hold me back. So keep fighting, keep pushing. Don't let that happen. Okay? Fight for what you believe in, fight for what you love. Stand up. And don't let nobody tell you different than what you believe your truth is. I don't care who the fuck they are. Anyways, back on to it. Suffering and silence is clarified by the nine and the ten of swords. Why is the nine and the ten of swords clarifying suffering and silence? The Sagittarius. Why is the nine and the ten of swords clarifying uh, suffering and silence? The nine and the ten of swords. Why is that clarifying suffering and silence? The Sagittarius. The nine and the ten of swords. How's that clarifying suffering silence? The Sagittarius. The nine and the ten of swords. We got the eight of pentacles and the eight of strength. Because it's gone. Because <clears throat> it's taking a lot of work and a lot of strength. Okay? To cut something out because you're bored with it. Something to do with this lovers here. Mm -hmm. Somebody gonna sit back and let be cut out. And it's causing them a lot of strength, okay? Because they want to put the work in here. They don't want to be cut out here, okay? What's this King of Wands here clarifying throw chakra? This King of Wands, why are they clarifying throw chakra? King of Wands, who's why he here clarifying throw chakra? King of Wands. Why is he clarifying throw chakra for Sagittarius? The King of Wands. Why is he clarifying throw chakra for Sagittarius? 
I don't know that we're going to take all of these, y'all. We're not. But I will tell you, you got High Priestess, the Ten of Cups, Selling Away to Common Water, somebody being heartbroken about it, a Libra, the Justice card. But he just not speaking up or she not speaking up. Okay. Okay, the Wands. Why is that here for a throat shopper for Sagittarius? Why is this King of Wands here for throat shopper for the Sagittarius? The death card still came out. Transformation is happening on that number five. Okay. Then we got the Ten of Cups. He wants to transform y'all happiness into a new beginning. Or she. Take the action. But he is not or she is not speaking up. Okay. Because they see you as a twin flame soulmate connection here. So they're taking heartache and loss behind this. Why is heartache and loss? Clarifying the lovers. Heartache and love. So I said clarifying the lovers for Sagittarius. Eight of Cups. Because you're walking away. Somebody's walking away and cutting it out harshly because they're talking about they bored with their twin flame. Tripping? Who tripping here? What's, what's the Eight of Cups? Walking away from the lovers. And then I don't see nothing toxic here. Justice. Mm. Somebody just a hot tamale or something. I don't know. I'm just assuming. We got justice flying out here. With a lot of other cards. But justice hit the floor. That could be Libra here. But it's going to be some, some justice. Some justice. Why is justice here? Why is justice clarifying the eight of cups and lovers? Justice clarifying the eight of cups and lovers. Okay. A page of wands here. A passionate idea. Somebody putting down burdens. Somebody got a lot of love and want to start a new commitment and bring in the balance here. And then we got the Queen of Wands. She down there. She gonna come out here and stand with the King. Possibly bitch she do. What's this page of wands? For Sagittarius. Okay. Page of wands for Sagittarius. I just like to finish off the shuffle. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so somebody just feeling like they just gonna leave their twin flame in the cold because they feel like somebody's jealous and they trying to walk away and give up on this because they got options and they feeling victorious about it. Good luck with that. Probably you Sagittarius. That's why you're gonna hit that boom tower transformation. Okay, what's the single card in reverse? Why is the nine of pentacles in reverse clarifying throat the crown chakra? Nine of Pentacles in reverse square find that crown chakra. Somebody knows that they shouldn't be single or knows that they don't want the other. Somebody knows something here. Yep. Yeah. And then we got the truth coming out with the unknown. Somebody knows that they shouldn't be single here. What's this moon card in this night of swords? No night card behind the swords. Yep, somebody's got the diet. Somebody got the knowledge, the inner knowledge, okay? But they still just want to put the burdens down, okay? The burdens can be put down still, okay, without walking away. What's this hermit card? Cutting out conflict, okay? And that's the judgment. I guess somebody's feeling like cutting out conflict is cutting out the whole person altogether, but that's not technically true. Y'all can find a whole new way to go about it so you done left the passion ignited out in the cold completely. No, that's not how you do it. You got to go back and figure out something else. Some other way. Go work together. See? Be more patient, more calm, and go in there and put some work in there. Hell, what the hell's wrong with you? Or whoever this is. What's this five of, five of pentacles? Five of Pentacles on Passion Ignited. Who's leaving the Passion Ignited out in the cold? What's this Five of Pentacles on Passion Ignited? This must be the runner. Passion Ignited. Why is Passion Ignited here? Left out in the cold. Somebody made a decision to leave it out in the cold because they don't want to wait on it here. It's immature. They want to move them. That's too much, y'all. I'm not reading all that, okay? Why is Five of Pentacles here on, pa on Passion Ignited? Five of Pentacles. Why is that clarifying Passion Ignited for Sagittarius? 
that passion ignited for Sagittarius. See, we're going to take that one in there that flipped over. The wounded warrior card fell flipped over too. Somebody tired. Somebody in the chariot is here again. Somebody tired and they feel like they got the higher ground to stand up and move on from this shit. But they needed to be more childlike, more compassionate. Take a take a retreat, okay? Mm -hmm. What's this six of cups? Clarifying the five of pentacles on passion ignited. Crying over spilled milk here. Somebody feel like they got disappointed by something. But divine timing is here. Okay, helping you with the decision to take action towards this higher level of commitment in the nine of the nine of cups. So you know what you want to do, but you got destiny here. Okay. Destiny. Destiny. What you crying about here? Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. The cards are falling. Somebody feel like they can't make a decision now. They feel like they got the higher ground to stand up and fight. To lead this shit down in the hole. What's this disappointment? What's this five of cups? See what you disappointed about? What you disappointed about? What's this, who's disappointed? And what they disappointed about? What's they disappointed about? Hmm. Retreating. Somebody's disappointed about emotion here. Hmm. Somebody being a brat. They have an anxiety here. Somebody's being a brat, I think. What's this? Anxiety around the higher level of commitment and the commitment and the wish fulfillment. So they're running, I guess. Running from their Ten of Pentacles. What's this movement, choices, and decisions? Clarifying Ten of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Movement, choices, and decisions. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Movement, choices, and decisions. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Yep, you running. From Divine. From your soul's purpose, because it's so strong for you. You waiting yet? What's this Ace of Wands? You running from being the Queen of Wands? That's what you're running from. Standing in your power with your divine. Yep. You you running from putting the balance in? It's you, Sagittarius. You the runner. You running from that Ace of Cups? I don't know why you running, but the tower is here to stop you from running. Transformation. Why is the tower and the hangman here on transformation for Sagittarius? The tower in the hangman. Why is that here for Sagittarius on transformation? The Queen of Pentacles pops out. And the tower again. Because you're trying to be single and nurture yourself. And boom. There it is. The tower. Till you get this new hanging man. You see that shit? Transformation. Gives you the tower and the hanging man. Boom. I guess you decide you still ain't going to transform. You want to stay single, boom. So they hit you with the tower again, telling you change your damn perceptive, perception of it. <laughs> What's the tower and this queen of pentacles for Sagittarius? Because you know, you know, you know that the cycle for you being single is over. Time for you to get with your pair. <coughs> you enlighten. Time for you to take that emotional offer and stop deceiving yourself. Okay. Acting like you don't got no feelings. And you know that's your nine of cups. Bull Sagittarius. Who you fooling? Not the universe. <laughs> There's the beginning. There's a beginning going to happen here. Whether you want it to or not. That's what it seems like. So hang in there, old Libra. Or whoever dating the sage. Because they get ready to be transformed. Take it how it fits. But I think it's you Sagittarius. Because the temperance card came here in the reverse. I feel like you are here re re resisting your transformation. Oh, but you want this week. This week, you're going to be having some tire moments if you try to resist your change, your transformation. Because it's well needed. Okay? Run around here single. So I'm need a lock on it. Okay? And I'm sure it's got to be your uh, goal, your, your soul's purpose is calling you. And for whatever reason, you're running from it. But you're going to be like Medea this week. Clink, clink. Trying to listen to that purpose. Say, what you say? It's going to lock you down. Going through a transformation. You feel me? Dealing with a Scorpio. We're about to get you some advice out here and see what happens. In the advice. 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 In the advice section. Let's see what the advice section has for you. Sagittarius. Advice. What advice do we have for Sagittarius from the 27th to the 28th? 
advice for Sagittarius from the 22nd to the 28th? What advice do we have from Sagittarius? For the Sagittarius? For my Sagittarius from the 22nd to the 28th? What advice for Sagittarius from the 22nd to the 28th? What advice for Sagittarius from the 22nd to the 28th? Advice. Somebody better speak up. That's what it better do. Somebody better say something. But they feel like they don't got to say nothing. And you know they don't got to say nothing, Sagittarius, if this is you. Because you know the crown chakra is here. You know what the fuck going on. Okay. Okay. What's this advice for these Sagittarius? Because I'm not about to play with them today. I'm not about to play with these Sagittarius. It's intuition. Don't play with me like you don't know. I'm not about to play with y'all today, Sag. I'm not about to play. Line up, okay? Or there will be tower moments to face. You gotta get in on this purpose, on this journey, because we ain't got time to play with you, okay? We got places to go and people to heal. Third eye chakra. Don't play with me. Don't act like you don't know what the fuck going on, okay? Don't act like you don't know what the fuck going on. What's this? What's, what else we got for the Sag? Come on. Come on. Get it out. Get it out here for them so they can stop playing crazy like they don't know what the fuck going on. 22nd to the 28th. What the fuck going on? <laughs> 22nd to the 28th. Stop acting like y'all know what the fuck going on when you got intuition and third eye chakra out here. And crown chakra. Oh, uh, y'all playing crazy. Y'all playing crazy. And it just got y'all a little, a little vomit. Like, okay. Y'all about to get scolded in, in advice. Love begins. Okay. Love begins. Solitude. Stand your ground. Okay. Let's see. It's a spiritual union out here, ain't it? <laughs> You know what the fuck going on. Don't play with me. You know what the fuck going on, Sagittarius. You know what the fuck going on. You know what the fuck going on. It's time. It's time. And this week, you're going to be transforming. You're going to be rolling with your intuition. And rolling with your third eye chakra. And your crown chakra. On top of power and spiritual strength. With your transformation, you know what the fuck going on. You know what the fuck going on. Don't play with me. Spiritual union is what the fuck going on. Foundation and achievements is what the fuck going on. Rejoicing and celebration is what the fuck going on. You know what the fuck going on out here, Sagittarius. Okay? Stop fighting that Libra. Okay, let me stop. That. I don't know if y'all dealing with a Libra, but I honestly feel like y'all dealing with a Libra. Because Libra just had this same very thing going on. Okay? Except he had the Queen of Wands come out. You didn't bring your ass out in this, Okay? Somebody didn't come out. Whoever the queen of wands is ain't trying to come out and play. But you know what the fuck going on, okay? Spiritual union is what the fuck going on. So, okay? Thumbs up if this resonated with you, Sagittarius. Thumbs up, okay? You want more videos? Subscribe. Don't hit the little bell because that annoys me. I don't want to hit the little bell. I mean, you can hit the little bell if you want to know when I'm making a video. But you can easily just come on here Mondays. You know, I'm making shit on... Ouch. I'm making shit on Mondays. I'm going to be incorporating some new shit when I figure it all out or whatever. Okay, so... But anyway, that's what I got for you guys this week. Um, Hopefully, you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Give me some comments down there. Let me know if you're dealing with a Libra. Mm. You know what the fuck going on, Sagittarius. This is spiritual union type of thing. Get down and lay down. I'm just playing... <laughs> You got to line up, though. You got to line with your higher purpose. It's only right. We got to go somewhere. We got to make this world a better place, okay? So, get in line. Bye.